All right, so this is an update from the last vlog. Today, I'm officially 22 weeks pregnant. Um, let's see, we found out that I was correct. We're having a girl. Yay, little princess, little diva. That's my um, dog in the background, as you can see, Puffy. Um. For all you guys that know Puffy, say Puff, he's still alive. He's 15 years old. I've had him since I was in the sixth grade. Anyway, so enough about Puffy. So yeah, I'm, we're having a girl, super excited. Um, of course, my husband was a bit, I wouldn't say disappointed, but you know, you know, he thought it was a boy, very convinced himself that it was a boy. But um, immediately after the ultrasound, he said, well, that means we have to try for a boy. And I was like, well, can I have this one first? But anyway, so let's see. Um, the week, my week 20 appointment, the baby was completely balled up, sleeping. Um, the ultrasound tech had me move to my left side, move to my right side. Um, she kind of like just took the instrument and went like this to try to get her to move. Um, she finally, which, what did she do? She finally opened her legs. So I was like, yay, as long as she's healthy and everything's going good. But she opened her legs and was like, yay, it's a girl, it's a girl. And then the ultrasound tech put Buy Me Pink on there. I thought that was really cute. My uh, OB doctor does not, or facility does not offer um, 3D ultrasounds, but I'm definitely interested in getting a 3D ultrasound. Um, I'm not sure if they do 3D ultrasounds because people are high risk pregnancies, who have high risk pregnancies, or if that's just something that some facilities offer. Unfortunately, mine doesn't. Um, my cousin was briefly telling me that if I do want one, I could request one, and maybe they could refer me out to a facility that offers them. That would be awesome. I just wanna see how she looks. So the morning sickness has subsided. Um, it starts, well, it kind of depends. Like if I wake up and I'm hungry and I don't eat immediately, that's when I have the morning sickness. Um, let's see. Or if I'm super hot, like I have to keep my apartment temperature set at 69. Poor husband, he's always freezing. But would you rather freeze or have me vomiting 24 seven? I'm just saying. So I've been trying not to kind of splurge on buying little outfits. Um, the one I'm most excited about is her coming home outfit. Initially, I was thinking of something like just a onesie, something simple. You know, the baby's coming fresh out of the wound. Um, not used to clothes being on the body, so I don't want anything too clingy, you know, to me, but the as old shiny stuff on it. Just something simple so um i've been thinking about i don't know what outfit to get her um just something simple just something simple if you have any suggestions comment below also thank you to everyone who has watched the video and also thank you for the 10 subscribers that i have oh and then the baby is also very active extremely active um actually today i had an appointment um just to check the um, fluid levels, they said that it wasn't wasn't necessarily low, but it wasn't where she wanted it to be um, surrounding the baby. So I went back today to check that. Baby's doing great, the fluid level is great. And she was thinking it was probably, probably because how hot it's been. It's been like deadly out there, like 97, 97 degrees with the, you know, heat index of like 103, 104, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, so she's doing good. Um, and today she was, actually we were able to get a profile view, which was awesome. Um, she was definitely very active today. Actually, when she was doing the um, ultrasound, I saw her kind of punch up her fist or go like this with her fist or her foot. I think it was her fist. And I felt her do it at the same time watching it. So that was pretty cool. It's like we had a connection there. Um, let's see, she definitely, she's definitely a huge fan of Beyonce, um, Rihanna, um, Erica Badu. Every time I play those selective artists, 
her she kind of moves so i'm thinking she's a fan i think she doesn't like it i don't know but either way she moved so last time i mentioned uh hip pain the hip pain is still still the same hasn't been that excuse me hasn't been that much of a change with the hip pain um i just sometimes i just try to ignore it sometimes i try to rotate when i'm sleeping i either sleep on my left side if it start hurting sleep on my right side sometimes it is really uncomfortable but you know it's manageable i've been uh let's see i've been sleeping on my stomach i want to say since i was an infant maybe not an infant but a toddler um yeah so just being just kind of adjusting the sleep sleeping on my side for the last five months have been different but um i've been managing um let's see this this week i've been extremely tired extremely tired and i think it's because the baby's super active now and also my appetite has increased so i'm eating pretty much anything and everything that's in my sight not really but just trying to you know kind of meal prep what i can eat throughout that day without snacking because i'm a huge snacker i was a snacker before the pregnancy but um just trying to make sure she gets her nutrients you know so um let's see what else i switched from a chewable prenatal to liquid um, the liquid's not bad. I've heard people say that it's going to taste disgusting, a second third. It's not awful. It does smell like liquid vitamins. So once you get all over the initial smell of it, it's not bad. Oh, also I have some darkening around my neck that's been occurring. Um, dryness right here on my chest area and also right here and right here. Um, I mentioned it to the doctor today. He just recommend he just recommended Aquaphor and just increasing my water. That was pretty much it. Um, baby's healthy. I'm excited. Can't wait to meet her. Super anxious. Um, definitely trying not to splurge on clothes. I know that um, zero to three months they kind of or newborn clothes in general they grow out of pretty quickly. So I'm just trying to be a little discipline just discipline myself you know but the girl section is so cute all the clothes is reasonable um yeah so so yeah so i've been just shopping for other stuff um redoing my living room um just modernizing my is that a word i guess so modernizing my um living room um bringing it more up to date um let's see that's about it um i don't know if i want to reveal the name yet few people know close friends and family know um i don't know if i want to reveal her name but i will reveal her middle name her middle name is very special to me it's um my sister's name who passed away um gosh she's she passed away in november 2011 um my oldest sister, she was 29 years old when she passed. Very hard topic for me to talk about. Um, she passed away due to a rare disease called Stills disease, and it's an autoimmune disorder. And pretty much people compare it to rheumatoid arthritis. So it's um, immune weakening disease. So it basically her body attacked itself in a nutshell. So, um, yeah, so the baby's middle name is Corinne. A lot of people ask me why not the first name. I think the first name would be too difficult. Too much pressure on myself and my mom. You know, just constantly calling her name, Corinne, 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 Corinne. It will just be too difficult, too hard, you know, um, emotionally. So her middle name is Corinne. Um, super excited. Um, I think my sister would be completely honored for her middle name to be Corinne, um, and it's C-A-R-I-N, um, yeah, so that's pretty much a, a, an update in a nutshell, um, 
let's see what else can I talk about um oh and she's using my bladder as a pillow so throughout the night I'm up and down up and down up and down up and down going to the bathroom at least five six times a night it's pretty ridiculous but you know managing um throughout the day drink a sip of water completely gotta go to bathroom gotta go to bathroom gotta go to bathroom um so her expected delivery date is november 30th ironically in my family november is a huge birthday month for a lot of people it's my mom's my mom's birthday is in November. My dad's birthday is in November. My sister, who passed away, her birthday is November um, thir 13th. My mom's the 16th. My dad's the 28th. And let's see. Who else? I believe my cousin. Um, it's just a lot, of, a lot of people born in November. So if I had to choose any month, I would definitely choose November. So... Oh, and then also my aunt who passed away from breast cancer, her birthday is on November 30th. So, yeah. So, uh, I guess I re re will re reveal her name. Her name is going to be London Karen Bates. So, super excited about that. Um, yeah. So, what else? Um, I guess the movement that I describe, that I will describe or I have described is called quickening. Um, I guess that's a proper terminology for it. Um, it's not really aggressive kicks just yet, but um, she's definitely very active, <laughs> very active. And it's almost similar to gas, I'll say. Similar, kind of, in a sense. It is kind of, initially when I first felt it from the flutters, to like that movement it was a little bit alarming i was like okay clearly that's the baby i know that's the baby but it's a bit strange um definitely something me personally i have to get used to or have been getting used to um but i love when her father puts his hand right there to fill her and stuff like that and he'll kind of poke his thumb excuse me and she'll push back which i think is cute but um yeah, so just looking forward to the delivery date. Um, let's see. And I think that's about it as far as the um, update go. Mm, I think that's about it. I've been just remaining indoors. When I do go out, it's either to take him out early in the morning or around this time, around 7 o'clock evening time, when the sun has kind of sort of went down. But um, just trying to stay as hydrated as possible, um, drinking lots of water. I do need to start exercising. That's something I kind of joked about. I said, oh, I'm not going to exercise during pregnancy. But in reality, I need to do something, even if it's just some um, squats. Um, but yeah, or even just walking, getting up, walking. Oh, and then also I wanted to show my stomach as well. So I see Puffy sleeping right there. So here's my stomach with my dress on. Super comfortable dress I got from Old Navy. When I say super comfortable, it's super comfortable. So this is my belly with my dress down. I, I feel like clothes put emphasis on the belly. Makes it appear bigger than what it is. But yeah, so this is my belly. Let's see both sides. From the front, yeah, some people say they can tell I'm pregnant, some people can't. Some people say I'm carrying kind of small. I don't know, but either way, she's nice and healthy. So this, and then I'm gonna lift my dress up, I have shorts on. And then, let's see, from this angle, here's my belly. Let's see, these are pre previous stretch marks prior to pregnancy, so. Just ignore those. But um, I don't have any stretch marks on my stomach. Trying not to get any every morning. When I get out of the shower, I put coconut oil on my stomach. Um, let's see. This is, like I said, previous stretch marks. 
Um, hopefully I don't get any on my tummy, but if I do, hey, it's all for a good cause. But, um, so yeah, so this is my stomach, um, front view of it. This line is definitely getting darker by the day or by the week. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. Can't wait for her arrival. So yeah, so I'm excited. Super excited. Definitely feel pregnant. I, when I say I feel pregnant, what I mean by his um, the shortness of breath, trying to maneuver myself, like get comfortable in a bed, um, short walks. You know, that's why I think I need to increase my exercising um, or start exercising. Yeah. Oh, and then also, of course, this is something new to some people, but I chopped my hair off. Um, I chopped my hair off when I was about, I think about 16 weeks pregnant, I believe I was 16 weeks pregnant. Um, I used to have dreads and it came out maybe about like right here. Um, it was tight, got tired of twisting them, got, got tired of washing them, just got tired of the whole process. Just wanted something new, a change, something different, start over. Um, well, I'm not starting over with the dress. Um, so I just, one day, one morning I got up and just completely cut my hair off. So um, I'm loving it. Waiting for it to grow out so I can start doing some different styles with it. But as of right now, this is how it is. So yeah. So yeah, and that's about it. And yeah, so catch you on the next vlog. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, have any questions, just type it down below in the comment box. Um, and that's it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.